hi everyone today i'm going to be doing a 2018 summer makeup collection and i'm really excited for this also give this video a big thumbs up also click the subscribe button down below because you can and i'm going to have a quick disclaimer i buy all my makeup with my own money or like for christmas or birthdays and that so yeah also it's kind of collected over quite a long time i'm just gonna get straight on with the video here's like my main makeup collection but some of it is in the drawer below and this cabinet thing was from Habitat, not Ikea. And I can't really remember what it's called, but it's got one, two, three. It's got six drawers, and they're quite good sizes. So, first off here, I have my makeup brushes. This one's kind of broken, but, you know, that's fine. And I have my, my little eyelash curler. And also, every day, I use this simple eye thing it's kind of like an eye primer but it's also like really refreshing in that and then yeah most of my makeup brushes are either from um revolution in a set or studio i think it is and i've got some real technique little eye brushes and then i have a little matte that is on from matalan just so it doesn't like mark the surface because you know what, that's good and then here i just have this little light up picture frame with a picture from Paul on where I went on holiday because I actually love it so much and then here I have sun creams so that I remember to put it on every morning a little lip scrub which I need to use up more and a lip balm which I use quite a lot and then here I have these like two things from Wilco because they're quite cheap and they're like a good size and they're really good quality as well so up here is the top layer of my makeup thing. I have quite a few lip products, but also some concealers, mascaras, and other things like that. So on this front row, I have some of these sleek matte me mini things, which came in a set. And that's not going to focus, but you know. And yeah, they're quite good for just like everyday casual makeup. And then I have this Sephora lip. What is it? A cream lip stain in the shade Hippie Pink, an NYC Smooch Proof Liquid Lip Stain, that's kind of hard to say, which I actually love in the summer. And then I have this little Kiko um, lip thing in the shade Smart. Then I have this Tanya Burr like, lip gloss thing. It's really old and I don't really like it, but it looks nice, so it's gonna be stay there. Then above that I have this little Kiko, there's just so much of this stuff is from Kiko, it's actually kind of bad. Um, thing, lip oil that I actually love so much. And I got it on the Spanish trip. Um, I also got this lip gloss on the Spanish trip. And yeah, it's like quite nice. You can't even see that. But it's like really nice and glittery. And then here I have this. Matt me in the shade birthday suit yeah and it's like a really nice everyday colour and also here I have this um, Barry M Matt me up in the shade on the scene and I actually love this so much as well some of my holy grails and then behind this I have this Sephora um, primer which is like a colour but it doesn't come out a colour when it actually see yeah just ignore me for that bit but it's quite good and then here I have this CYO um bronzing shimmer oil and it's like a pipette thing which I love so much it looks so cool and it smells so nice but I don't actually know what it's meant to do and then I then I have this MUA um foundation in the shade ivory flush which is like one of the only foundations that actually matches me and to be fair it's actually quite good for the price and then next to that I have this full sheet full, uh, full, full C's push up drama mascara and the wand is so big it kind of is a bit clumpy sometimes but that's fine because it like really does make them look so cool and every day I just use this Maybelline Lash and Say Snort Sens sens sensational and uh, honestly that's not going to focus either but it's like so perfect and I love it so much 
and then here I have this um, collection last imperfection concealer it's quite good but I use this like mostly for like eye makeup and that and then here I have this fit Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 05 and it's honestly so creamy and it's like really light so that it just fits also it's like an under eye brightening concealer and then I have this wake me up rimmel ivory no wake me up rimmel concealer again and it's in the shade 10 ivory this is really good oh my god I can't even put anything in the view but it's really good and I actually love it so so much and then in front of this I have this elf primer hydrating face primer thing and yeah I haven't used it that much so I should use it a lot more but it just looks kind of cool there then I have this Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender which I haven't used in quite a long time or like in a few days so it's gone really small and then I have a couple of like little brushes from like Benefit and that and then I have this like <laughs> one pound little beauty blender from Superdrug which is actually quite good for using pressed powder no, loose powder, but like pressed powder. Yeah. And then I have this NYX glitter thing, which gets really in your eyeballs when you put it on. Oh, and also, forgot completely had this. I have this Revolution um, silicone sponge thingy, which is really weird. And I don't really like it, but like for a challenge, I might just keep it. And then have High Beam Benefit, and I really like this, and it's really, really natural. So then up here I have my first little drawer part of it and I have some concealers, powders, highlights and then a mascara right at the back. So first of all I have my Becca highlight in the shade Opal and it is so pigmented. Yeah. You can't really see that that much because not in good view. And then I have this. Um, natural collection eyeshadow which I kind of use as a highlighter it's actually really pigmented but it's really old and then I have a Rimmel natural stay matte um, powder collection press powder which I use for my under eyes sometimes and then I have a Rimmel I think yeah wonderful mascara which is like really really big and it looks kind of cool but there's no room up there to put it and then I have this highlight from Collection and yeah, I don't really use it that much. Then I have this Revolution Concealer in the shade C3 and it's really good as well. And then, dust in this top drawer, I have MUA Concealer. I don't really like it but I keep it in case like, I don't know, I wouldn't let mess it up and it's really hard. Yeah. That's not the best thing in the world. And then in this next one here, gonna have to move you down again. So then in here I have, I'm gonna move that a tiny bit, yeah. I have my little um, collection eyebrow pomade in the shade Brunette, which is kind of red, like quite ready. Then it's probably quite good in the summer because my hair's quite red. Then I have this MUA um, highlight. It's like a pinky one in the shade Pink Shimmer, which is kind of good, but if you're going to get it, I recommend getting like a white shade if you've got my skin tone. And then I have this MUA Sunkiss Bronzer, and it is so good. It's like £3, so I actually love it. And then in the front here, I have this Benefit Dandelion Blush, which is so pretty. So, like, whenever I use brush, I like blush, I like to use that one. And then here I have this. Um, Benefit Hula Bronzer in mini again and I, it's so nice as well then I have this Natural Collection um, mascara but I kind of just use it as a brow gel or mascara if I really am feeling then like I need a tiny bit of mascara but not a natural black one then I have these two um, Natural Collections mascara which is so old and it's really bad I know they're like probably three years old or whatever but I've got one in clear and one black but they're called like different sized ones so I, I kind of want to keep both and then I got this green um collection last infection like colour corrector thing 
I just moved you down again until I have some of my lip things. So I've got this natural collection lip gloss, a velvet lip lacquer MUA thing, lip, lip. Yeah, they're very, I have two there, and they're very pigmented and stuff. Then I have this I Love Makeup Lip Lava thing, and it's actually quite nice to be honest. Then I have this NYX thing in the shade Ibiza, I think it is. Yeah, I know I'd like it, but only in the summer. And I have this MUA matte lipstick thing, and it's actually really good for its price. I feel like it's like one pound or something. Then I have a little lip gloss, which I can sometimes put over more red, like, shades of things, because it's kind of got red all over it. And then I have this other natural collection blush in the shade Pink Cloud. Yeah, I got it ages ago. And then I have this natural collection eyeshadow in the shade Candy Floss, which I literally have not used in so long, but... Uh. Then I have this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the shade... Uh, Taupe, Taupe, whatever it says. And this is honestly the best thing in the world. Like, this spoolie is, like, firm, but doesn't hurt your eyebrow, bone, or whatever it's called. And this is, like, the perfect shade for me. And I wear that, like, every day. Then I have this Miss Beauty eyeliner. Yeah, it's, like, one pound. But it's actually quite good, not gonna lie. Then I have a MUA eyeliner. Um, a Soap and Glory Archery 2-in-1 brow, which I always used to use, but it's actually not that pigmented. Then I have a Kiko um, lip pencil, MUA lip pencil, um, and then this other bright brow product right at the back, which is very dark for me. So I only use it if I'm feeling really desperate once again. Then here in this first drawer, so it's a really, really weird angle, but I couldn't get any better. I have like some random wash tapes at the back and then some other random stuff. And then here I have some like four revolution palettes have this soap x highlight palette which i use every day and it's so good um this other revolution love conquers all palette which i got for free and then this very bright palette redemption palette acid brights which i always use if i'm doing like halloween stuff or whatever then i have this other revolution palette in the shade redemption palette iconic three which is just good for like little glittery stuff. And here I have this very orange Wet n Wild foundation photo focus. Because I ordered it online and I really, really wanted it. So I was like, oh, a new shade will do. Then I have this MUA primer, which is really weird feeling on your skin. But I keep it anyway. Then I have this MUA loose powder which I don't really use because it's kind of yellowy, like really very yellowy, but yeah. Then I have this um, Lush Jackie Oats colour supplement, which is like a foundation, but it's really not, it's like not even a um, tinted moisturiser, it's just there. And then I have this collection um, highlight and contour palette, which has a little, I said that so weirdly, which has a little thing there. Then I have this Kiko bronzer, which is kind of shimmery, but a bit not. It's in the shade Two Warm Moonstone. Then my favourite eyeshadow palette, and like my only big one, is this. Wow, it's, it doesn't really fit in the thing, but it's Revolution Pro HD Amplified 35 palette in the shades Inspiration. And yeah, it's got a huge mirror there, and it's got this sheet of stuff. Whoops. And then, yeah, there's all, like, completely different, but, like, warm browns and, like, oranges kind of shades. Here I have two little MUA eyeshadow things. This is really, really old. And I broke my favourite shade, which I was so sad about. But, yeah. And I also have this MUA um, Dreamy Charm palette, which is actually quite good, not going to lie. And like the pe the shimmers especially are very pigmented. Then I have this Freedom Bronze no contour. It's quite hard to open. What it's kind of cracked, so I don't want to open it too much. And it's quite warm toned, which sometimes good, sometimes bad. 
then have this freedom color correcting palette which i mean haven't really used in a long time but not to say that it's bad or anything and then i have this nudes eyeshadows which is quite good as well for just like doing a smoky eye look so that is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time don't forget give this video a big thumbs up or just click the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed it and yeah see you in a bit bye